Mark from True Seeker, and I'm in Soul 630. What caught my eye right off the bat was number one, this picture is just annihilated. I mean, NASA just mutilated it. They're not giving us much. If you do these videos or watch this stuff, you know what I'm talking about. You go to their website, there's nothing there that's really usable. I mean, they're taking pictures of the sky. Look at this thing, it looks like something half buried. It goes down and they're covering it up with all this fake CGI and blacking. This to me looks like a barrel that's just knocked over with something coming out of it. Maybe there was something carved in the barrel. Here it looks to be like some type of string or something, but uh, it's just hard to tell. It looks like it's in front of the barrel at one point, but that one's too close to tell, so. But it does look like it's blocking out the barrel. So I'm going to say 50-50 on that one. Let's see where they shaded this out. They put this black in front of here. It's covering up this item that's behind it. See, they, this is just a black smudge, that's all this is. Because there's no reason for a shadow to be there when this is all lit. See how this is just blasted with light? All of this is blasted with light, except where they want it to be. Okay, this is all lit, and this is flat, supposedly. I mean, this is all fake, but in NASA's reality, that should be lit. So you can see how this is opened, and there's something just coming out of it. Then you come back here, and it looks like another S. I found a bunch of these. What this S means, I'm not going to put any anything to it. I'm just going to, you know, I'm sure it has a meaning. It does look like another S. This looks like a piece of piping. Looks like a piece of piping going to this unit here. Now, like I said, they just made a mess of this picture. And they've been doing it to everything that's been coming down. There's almost nothing usable. They're taking pictures of the sky. They're taking pictures of the rover. They're taking pictures of the calibration disc. And this is supposed to be the greatest part of the journey of this rover. And that's what they're doing. They're taking pictures of nonsense. It's just total and utter nonsense. It makes me sick to my stomach. We knew that that was going to happen. We knew that we were either going to have a rover failure or we were going to deal with something like this. And as far as I'm concerned, NASA's right on track for doing exactly what I thought they were going to do. See, here's one eye, there's another, there's the nose, and there's the mouth. To form this head in nature with the perfect symmetry of that, and then, then to top it off, to have this statue next to it that they blurred out. The chances of that happening, you probably got a better chance of hitting, you know, the lottery big game twice in a row. It just ain't happening. You know, I'm out all the time with my dog up in the woods and stuff and every once in a while I snap a couple of pictures and come home and play with them and I don't care what anybody says man I can't come close to anything like this you know 
I'm one of those guys when I look up in the clouds, I see nothing but clouds. Some people see all types of crazy shit, I mean, which is cool. But I see what I see, and I usually try to call it as I see it. I'm pretty, pretty straight shooter. Honesty is a big part of my life. You know, I'm a frugal, humble guy from Jersey. And that's just the way it is. When I look at this picture, I see an eye here, I see an eye here, I see a nose, and I see a mouth. Some of this stuff looks like it has Egyptian, some of it looks Mayan. Your call is better than mine. You call it whatever you want. Like Will from What's Up in the Sky says, and he says it a lot. I see what I see, you see what you see. And that's perfectly fine. I'm not here to argue with anybody. I'm actually amazed. Amazed at the way my channel has grown. 99% of my comments and emails and it's all positive and I, I just love you for that. If my channel's not for you, hey that's cool. You don't even have to waste your time putting a comment in here. Just on sub and leave, it's fine. I got no problem with it. You're not hurting me in the least bit. You know, I just hope that you have an open mind where maybe you click on somebody else's channel that's doing this and maybe their channel's for you. And you know what? Maybe none of this is for you and that's fine too. That's perfectly fine by all of us. There's one thing for sure, you could look at this and say, hey, you know what, that's not a barrel or some type of bucket knocked over. Hey, that don't look like an S, looks like a snake. But there's one thing you gotta admit, why are they putting all this black in front of things? If there's nothing here, what are you doing this for? The ground is lit all the way up to it, all the way up to it but it's pitch black, not even a shade of gray, nothing. Look at this, the front of this is lit. This is a stand-up 3D item. You can see the shadow coming down. That's what a shadow looks like. A little gray, a little white, yeah, it's a shadow. See this black smudge that's here? Why would that black smudge be there, why? Why would this be totally black? This is the statue there. Why is that black? Because they don't want you seeing it. It's plain and simple. This, look at this black smudge. I can create that probably in 10 seconds. There's another one. It's just covering up like this perfect triangle. See? It's a black smudge, but it's a perfect triangle they put there. And another black smudge. So, you may not agree with me that that's a bucket or that's an S, but you gotta ask yourself, what the hell? And I've been screaming about this for months now. What is all this black and all this fake sand about? You gotta ask yourself that. Like you come and you see an item like this, look at this. It looks like a diamond shaped item looks to have some type of carvings in it. It's got a piece on the top. And it looks to be something coming out of it. I just don't want to. I, I, I mean, I don't even know where to begin on what you would call it, but I mean, just look at that kind of item. When you go up to your mountains, do you see stuff like this? You know, unless it's man-made. All right, guys. I got a couple coming down for you. I just thought this was cool. True Seeker Love, just do me a favor. Go send some love over to some of my friends at What's Up in the Sky 37, Amazon UK, Mars Anomalies, Mars on Mass, and Olympic Sky, and even Third Phase of the Moon. You know, that may not be your whole deal. You know, you might not be into all of that. But you know what? That guy Blake, he's putting the truth out there. 
You know, he's putting everything out there, and he's letting you decide what's true, what's not. But you got to give the guy credit because he's putting it out there, just like the rest of us, man. You know, we put our hearts into this stuff. Another cool statue. Look at that thing. Look at the way the base is carved. It comes up, and they manipulated it. All right, guys. I'll see you in a couple.